Hi, and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we've got a really fun Steam project learning how to draw 3D images. We're going to be combining science, math, and arts in this really cool project. You're going to need some basic supplies. The templates are available from the Steam Powered Family website, so you can just hop over there and grab those. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to take a 2D shape and turn it into a 3D shape. If you've been on the Steam Powered Family YouTube channel, you've noticed probably our 3D Nets project. So that's another great project that you can do with this. So the first thing we're going to do is take a very basic square and a triangle and we're going to trace them onto our paper. And then we're going to offset and trace again. So we're just moving it up and to the right a little bit. And now we're going to use a ruler and connect the corners. And when we do this, it changes the shape from 2D to 3D in the way it is perceived by our eyes. And then you can go through here and we're just showing how you can delete those uh, lines in the middle to make it more clear. Next, we're going to learn how to draw some letters in 3D. And the first thing we need to learn in this is how to make block letters. One of the easiest ways to do this for new artists is to use grid paper. So we're just showing you how to use grid paper in our templates to create your block letters. And we do include some grid paper in there for creating your letters. So then you can just go and practice. You can create any word you want. Here Merle has decided to use her name. And we're just going to go and we're going to start making our block letters on our grid paper. And we have all the letters there. It's all in capitals. So it makes it a little easier for creating your shapes. However, as you get better at making your 3D letters, you can go lowercase as well. Now we're going to take those block letters and make them 3D. So we've got our blocks here. And once again, we're going to trace our letters. And that is our first step. There we go. It's a little tougher with those curves, but if you just take your time, you can definitely do it. Now we're just going to cut out the letters. And again, this is a process that is great for students that are first learning how to make 3D shapes. There we go. Get all those letters nicely cut out. Now we're going to take a piece of paper. We're going to make a line with our ruler, and this is just going to help make sure that our letters stay straight. And there we go. We're going to trace onto the paper. Make sure that you spread those letters out nice and evenly. You want to make sure that there's a little bit of space between the letters because once again, like we did with the shapes, we need to be able to offset when we do a second copy of our letters. So we're going to be moving up and to the right again and we want to make sure that there's enough room after we trace to fit that. So here we go. We're going to make the first letter and then we're going to grab our ruler and we're going to create a second line once again so we can make sure that our letters stay straight. We don't want our letters and our word going all wonky. And if you're ever making signs or banners, this is a really fun way to add some extra depth and uh, striking imagery to your banners. So now we're going to go and we're going to connect all those corners just like we did on our shapes. And then we're grabbing a permanent marker and tracing the outside. The permanent marker is really great because it doesn't blend with the colored markers if you want to go in and color your letters afterwards. So it makes for a nice clean sharp edge. And there we go. We're just going to continue on and do the rest of the letters in our name here. There we go. Make sure all those edges are done. And there we go. There's our finished name. Now we're going to do line drawings. Now these are really spectacular because they start out looking very normal, but then they kind of just like magic seem to pop up off the page. So we've got paper there and you can see the dots. So we did our tracing first of a heart and then our hand. Now you're going to go across and you're going to connect the dots using a ruler. You're going to skip over the image. So in this case, we're doing the hand first. So you skip over any tracings of the hand. So the inside is clear and we're going to go all the way down the page, making straight lines, connecting those dots. 
Now, set your hand nice and firmly on the paper and don't lift it or move it around more than necessary. And then connect inside of the fingers and the rest of the hand using a curved line. You wanna curve up and then just connect across. And that curve is what's going to help give it more depth. There we go. And now we're gonna do the same with the heart. This time we jumped straight to a permanent marker. It's up to your comfort level whether you go straight to the marker or want to use a pencil first and then trace over with the marker afterwards. So there you go. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the heart and add those curved lines. Those curved lines are so important for giving it that first level of depth. Now we're using our 4B pencil and going around the edges of our images. And this is to help create shading. If you ever take time to look at things, you'll notice that we're always creating little shadows in the light. And that helps to give us depth in our images. Now we're just using a blending stump to help make those shadows nice and soft. So you can also color your 3D images. Here we've used different colors. We've used pink, green, and yellow. And if you just stagger those and continue with the curved lines where it's curved and straight where it's straight, you'll end up with a really nice image. And then we're going around and adding our shading again around the edges of our heart. And that once again really makes it pop. A fun final challenge that you can give your students is to take 2D shapes and use them to create a 3D house. So you can start with your basic square and connect them and then adding the triangles for the roof connecting those parts and then go and use all sorts of different shapes to create the rest of the details on your house so here we go we've got the basic shape now we can use rectangles for things like the door squares for the windows make sure you get that perspective right and the ruler really helps with that add a chimney with some little bricks in there you can do this however you want here we're adding little shingles on the roof and just go around and add any details to make your house perfect so this is a really fun activity that combines science math and art to create 3d images and it is so popular with students if you want head over to steampartfamily.com for more exciting stem and steam activities have a great day bye for now